Hey guys, what's up? My name is Art and welcome back to another video. I found this recent, I found this recent, this is a toy that I had when I was a kid and I found it again recently. And in my opinion, it's, it's, it's probably like 80% complete, but it's totally, I call badass. So without further ado, let me show it to you. Got it for a decent price too. Ironically, the seller is like three hours away from my house. That's that's hilarious. But anyway, let's show it to you. That right there is the Cobra Rattler. The reason why I say it's eighty percent complete because there's no there's no canopy right there. I can get I can get a replacement canopy. And that's not an issue. There's some wear tear right here. Every one of these had these. I don't know why. Because we didn't usually bend them or something like that. I do have the replace. I do have the replacement. I do have the replacement bullet hole panels right here. <clears throat> Let's flip this bad boy over. This is broken, which is fine. This right here is good. This one is missing. And the funny thing is there's always, always, if you didn't put these in right back in the day, it always created these stress marks right here. The cool thing about it is that all the missiles are here. All of the missiles, which, and the thing is I got this for less than a hundred bucks. A fully restored one of these with with everything. Well, I shouldn't say restored. Full every one of these. It's like three hundred bucks. And I it's like even came with wild weasel. Yes, my room is slightly under construction. But this is amazing. And the hilarious part is that, you know, it's kind of funny because like I have the G.I. Joe classifieds, which is six inches, and these are three and the three quarters. I remember when I was a kid, these felt huge. Then again, you got to think about it. I was younger back then. I was smaller. But now look at these. These things look like miniatures. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious. And I remember playing with this on a regular, like, all the time. I never took my toys outside. Never did because of the neighborhood kids. And the thing is, the neighborhood kids never had anything like this. Well, some did, but they, you know, they always wanted to play with yours and not theirs and Oh, yours break. No big deal. Hey, they still got theirs, right? But I remember also around about that time, there was this TV show. If you were in the 80s, you remember this TV show called Airwolf? This was like my Airwolf back in the day. Remember having missions? <clears throat> and stuff like that with this toy and it was kind of it was kind of neat it was awesome to do man i tell you i had so much fun playing with that toy unfortunately my dad was like you want your stuff come and get it and i was bullshitting i was on some bullshit dealing with a person on that bs level and it got tossed so, and, and of course, half the stuff is probably destroyed and broken off anyway, but hey, you could, some, it's funny, nowadays, someone like myself can relive their childhood by buying things like this. And it's amazing. I didn't mean to say BS, but you, you know how it is. But anyway, that's it for the video. Hope you like this as much as I 
like the idea of making this video. But man, maybe when I, maybe I should hang this up. Don't know what to do with this yet. But anyway, if I can get that, if I can get replacements and, and install them, that will be great. But other than that, I'll figure it out later. With that being said, thanks very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Leave some words if you like. And um, I'll see you in the next one.